I'm Taylor Rocha reporting for FanRag Sports alongside Tommy Stokey. We had the chance to check out the Brewers at spring training camp this week. Now the Brewers aren't expected to win a ton of baseball games this year because they still are rebuilding. But Tommy, why should fans be excited? I think the rebuild part is actually exciting or can be exciting for fans because you're going to get a lot of these talented guys that are going to perform well at times. Now, just like any rebuild, you're going to see a lot of lows too. You're going to see a lot of inconsistency. But being able to kind of grow with your team that when the Brewers are in 2019, 2020 and winning games, competing, contending, that's when you're going to look back and say, man, the 2017 season, the 2018 season, I watched these kids grow up. So I think that is the part that's going to be fun. It's just going to be more fun two, three, four years from now. So the Brewers have one of the best farm systems in baseball. Who in particular stood out to you? I think Keon Broxton is a guy that is going to get a lot of attention this year, hitting at the top of the lineup. If he performs well, you have him, Jonathan VR, Ryan Braun. That's a pretty good top three. Uh, you have a guy, Lewis Brinson. When he gets called up, whether it's after Ryan Braun gets traded, if that happens, or they just deem him ready, he's going to be exciting both on the field. He can hit at the top of the lineup. He's got power as well, so he'll be exciting to watch. The one guy I'm really intrigued to see is Orlando Arcia. He's been their top prospect for what feels like a ton of years so far. So is he going to be consistent enough offensively to be that complete player? We'll see. He has the glove. The bat wasn't there last year, so we've got a, a, another step in the progression for him. Well, there you have it. The Brewers may not win a ton of baseball games, but they will be fun to watch.